Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Block Party Podcast, and this is episode number two. It's your boy Crypto Blood and your man Nick from Truth Blitz. Today, we're going to be talking with Silvertooth about a variety of topics, like him going all in on Pillar, Ripple, and why we hate it, Bitcoin ah. dominance dropping, yep. and the new tax bill on how it screws cryptocurrency holders. So stay tuned, and also make sure you guys. Click the link to the official Block Party Podcast YouTube channel and subscribe because eventually we will be putting these on that channel alone. So make sure you guys do that, people, and hit that bell. All right. And we have, of course, the infamous, legendary Silvertooth <laughs> on the line with us. What's going on, ST? Not a whole lot. Glad yeah. to be here. Yeah, man. Glad to have you. And, uh, Nick was like, man, we should get Silvertooth on. I'm like, absolutely, absolutely. So I'm glad you uh, took the opportunity to talk with Nick and I today. And, uh, you know, I hope you're not too nervous. I was like, I, I, t I texted you or uh, DM'd you and was like, hey, man, this is a pre-record. You don't have to worry about any of that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so glad to have you on, man. So uh, we were going to talk about a couple things today um pillar being a subject um taxes we were going to talk about what else were we going to talk about nick uh bitcoin dominance dropping um ripple 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 ripple, ripple. yeah ripple so we'll, we'll get into that right now i guess um so the first thing i guess we could talk about is the bitcoin market cap hitting all-time lows um what do you guys like feel that means for for the markets like what what do you think they they're looking at bitcoin as when as far as you know the dominance dropping are are we seeing the last days of bitcoin being like that king of cryptos what do you think i think bitcoin's always going to be i mean it's always going to be top dog that's the one that the trading futures on that's the one that you hear about on on the news, mainstream news now all the time. So um, that's always going to be like, you know, it's funny because most people that I know who are just starting to get into cryptos, doesn't matter what crypto it is. A lot of them call everything Bitcoin. Like my dad is. It's funny. He'll he doesn't own any Bitcoin, but, you know, I got him into some Litecoin, some other alts. Um, you know, that aren't available on, on uh, Coinbase. And he'll call me up and be like, hey, I want to get some more Bitcoin. You know, right, <laughs> you know what I right. mean? So, yeah, yeah, you know, no it's, doubt. It's funny. So I think it's always going to be the one. Mm -hmm. But that's not to say that uh, a lot of these other alts are really making some big moves. And... Um, yeah, Bitcoin dominance. I mean, Bitcoin used to be over 50% of the overall market as far as market cap goes. Um, but yeah, now we're down to what, 36.1% it looks like. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, look how many how many cryptos we have just listed on coin market cap, 1,384. And um, there are some that aren't even listed on coin market cap. Bro, I remember that when, I own. I remember when Coin Market Cap literally had less than a hundred tokens, mm -hmm. and and Bitcoin's dominance was like, it was like ninety something percent. <laughs> right. So it, yeah, we've come a long way. Um, but I don't think I think someone said in my comments like it, it's the maturation of the cryptocurrency uh, market in general, like just seeing bitcoin dominance coming down and, and other players coming into the space you know what i mean right. what, yeah, what do you I, what I do you agree. think silver too i think that when the masses flow into it uh bitcoin's gonna rise back up there um i'm thinking that uh it's it's definitely not over and um <clears throat> it'll have its day again definitely mm -hmm. yeah. so do you, do you think it'll get over like um what like 40 50 percent or you, do you where do you think it'll end up settling um, I think we ride high and then we ride low and it goes through phases. And uh, right. right now we're through a low phase. Everyone's into the altcoins and mm -hmm. it's that sloshing that Cliff High talks about. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, very true. Actually, I was uh, I was watching 
a couple chartists and uh yeah i just watched a scenario that somebody charted and uh it looks like we're about to we're about to start taking a massive move up in bitcoin mm -hmm. if the chart's correct so uh i mean and we saw that just uh you know i woke up yesterday morning and uh i looked at my black folio and i said whoa it's going i mean my my overall us dollar amount wasn't really down mm -hmm. um but you know bitcoin had made a massive move up not massive but it made you know almost two thousand dollar move up and um you know obviously because of that a lot of the alts are falling um and i think that we're not done with that move up yet yeah so so you know i never asked you silver tooth like when out of all the videos I've watched of you, I've never known like how you got into cryptos. Mm. Like, how, how did you get into cryptos? Like, who introduced you and and, and all that good stuff? Because I never, um, I never heard <laughs> you talk about it. Well, I, I've I've watched a lot of conspiracy theory stuff. I like that stuff. Uh, yeah. uh, things like that. And uh, actually, Jason M. Four was the one that got me into it. Nice. So. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. So that's that's pretty cool, man. So did you jump right in after J Snip kind of told you about it, or like did you do some research or or what? Oh, I did research. Yeah, mm -hmm. I definitely did research after that. And once I saw research, and then saw more videos, and saw more mm -hmm. uh, YouTubers go into it, I I decided that's something I needed to get into. And I realized it w it was a wave of the future. You know, right. this is where the world's going. You know, so I definitely wanted to be a part of it. Mm. Yeah. Definitely, man. I think that um, I, I, that's awesome. I'm so glad that you did find it, uh, you know, and I know your life has probably probably been changed for forever from from this uh, this experience of cryptocurrencies. Um, so do, do you think, um, Nick, what do you think about like Bitcoin? I know we just asked Silvertooth as far as what do you think Bitcoin's peak in market cap percentage will be? And, you know, we, we will go through ups and downs. Uh, I agree with Silvertooth on that. Where do you see Bitcoin kind of settling overall long term from a dominant standpoint? That's kind of hard to say because a lot of these alts are already starting to become and are going to be huge. So, um, you know, I, I could see it going around maybe close to the 50% mark again, and then maybe settling in somewhere in that area. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're ever going to see the days of, uh, you know, 90, 80, 70% again. Um, no, I, I agree with you on that, but you know, but I, I think, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility for it to hit like 50% dominance again, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's just my opinion um okay i don't know yeah. yeah what about you ah man i feel like around here is where we'll settle like 40 percent, 38 percent somewhere mm. it may even go lower to to me like there are a lot of good projects out there a lot of good mm -hmm. coins and if bitcoin core doesn't get their act together um I don't know. I see it kind of just I don't it's not going to go away. And I think the value of it will continue to go up. I'm not saying that I don't want people to get that confused market cap uh, percentage of market cap versus dollar amount. I think, right. you know, I think that's I can see a million dollars of a Bitcoin for sure. It's funny because you know? that chartist I was talking about, uh, it's actually I'm going to shout him out. Um, okay. Because it's uh it's that bits to freedom. Yeah, I told you I was gonna I was gonna sign up for a month of his service just to see what it was about. Right. And uh, his chart is saying he doesn't see it out of the realm of possibility that we might hit a hundred thousand dollars in, you know, U.S. dollar amount by the end of the summer. Um, now, when you when you look at what Cliff High said, he thinks it would be by the end of the summer, which what would he say about 40, 60,000? Is that what he said? Pretty sure he said something along those remember. lines. Um, but when you look at it like that, now he also said 13,800 by February. Right. And as you know, we've gone higher than that. Yeah. Uh, now when, uh, and I, I did an overview of this, uh, his last conversation with Greg Hunter, he talked about, well, that data is still good. 13,800 in February is the floor mm -hmm. where it won't go any lower than that when we pull back. 
um, that'll be like the base. So from a trader's perspective, uh, or, or should I say a hodler's perspective, that would be like the number. Now, if you're a trader, uh, and like he says, you know, I'm not a trader, so I don't look at these other, you know, yeah, it spiked up to 20,000 and then came down, but I don't look at that because that wasn't a, um, a consistent number. We weren't at 20,000 for long. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it went up and then just dropped. So, mm -hmm. um, maybe it will hit now this guy, this other guy is a trader, obviously. So maybe it will hit a hundred thousand by the end of the summer because, it's nothing for Bitcoin to do a, a 40, sometimes 50% retracement. So, yeah, no, like I'm going to talk about this in one of my videos coming up. There are some things happening in the financial markets, in the um, bond markets, <laughs> where we're going to see an inverted yield curve um, by like October of this coming year. Mm -hmm. We haven't, I don't, so we haven't seen any financial crisis since this rally in Bitcoin mm -hmm. in the last year and a half. So just imagine if we had that on top of all of this, we can def, man, we will definitely see a hundred thousand this year, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Silver Two? Oh, it'll be a flock. It'll be a flock coming in for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, I, I think that, um, yeah, like like you said, there'll be a pullback, but um, <clears throat> it'll definitely. I I think it will hit that that mark. I I think we will see a hundred this year for sure. Mm -hmm. I think so. Not a problem. So yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think it's that hard to do. To be honest with you, I mean, especially when you factor in, you know, Cliff High's prediction of thirteen percent of the population flocking in this year. Right. Um. You know that number might be conservative. Yeah. Of a hundred thousand. So absolutely. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, the masses are starting to come in. That's mm -hmm. for sure. You know, like, like I said, my father, I talked to him about this. I wish he would have listened to me months and months ago because he, he would have made a lot more money. Um, but he's in now along with my brother, along with cousins of mine, other people that I've talked to. I got people that I grew up with that I know from, from town that are coming to me constantly saying, Hey, can you help me get into this? I know you're into this. And, um, you know, it's happening. And like I've said before, I'm just one person. Imagine how many other people who are currently in the crypto space that this is happening to. So, and some people don't, they don't really know much other than Bitcoin, right? you know, or, or maybe the other, the other three that are on Coinbase, you know, because everybody starts with Coinbase, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. so, um, you know, but Bitcoin's the one that's talked about on the news. Right. So everybody hears Bitcoin, 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 they sign up for Coinbase and they buy Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. um that's just pretty much the way it happens you know so i don't think it's it's i think it's very possible that we could see six figure bitcoin this year for sure mm -hmm. but well before the end of the year so silver so tube are you i know you were helping your father-in-law right getting yep, in, yep. he's in there are, are, do you have like people at your job coming to you now what, what, what's the status on other people I I've got a lot of people I help, a lot of people. Okay. Um, yeah, everyone, in fact, people come on my channel. I try to help them. Um, just uh, a lot of random people come come to help, uh, relatives. Mm -hmm. I got my sister-in-law. I got her a wallet. She's uh, Her portfolio has doubled since Christmas. Wow. Um, a, a lot of people. So <laughs> I just do what I can to try to get people in before the masses come. So mm -hmm. they can uh, really better themselves for the future. Exactly, so, that's cool. exactly. <laughs> that's good, man. So uh, let's let's take a look at the next topic we have up, and that is pillar. My pillar. man, Silvertooth nice. loves pillar. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember uh, <laughs> a few months ago. Um, at one point, man, I swear you did like every video was about <laughs> pillar. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> I was like, this guy is going crazy over this pillar stuff. So, but hey, I, I mean, you were Look right. Out, yeah, Seven you were. Sense. You were right, man. And so, tell us a little bit about like why you feel like pillar is like that deal is really the one, and and yeah, we'll kind of go from there on that. Well, it's just 
it's just kind of giving people back their data and that's what they want. Um, we've been stolen from twice. We've been stolen our money from the banking system. Yeah. And then we've been stolen our data from uh, big corporations and they use it to make millions of dollars. And, uh, this is, this crypto system is giving us our money back, um, mm -hmm. and uh, it gives us our info back. And uh, I just like the the setup of Pillar and what they're going to do in the future. And uh, I love the fact that um, I just think they're a great team. I know a lot of individuals that are uh, uh, going to Pillar. It's an open source. They're not trying to to get rich, um, and this can grow and prosper. I mean, the company runs off a million dollars a year and they're worth a, a $180 million market cap. So, I mean, they can literally run forever. So um, you just got to give them time. It's one of those things that you got to give them time and they will produce. So um, I just, I love what they're going to do. I love the wallet uh, coming out, the grandma wallet. That's going to be awesome for the masses. Yeah. Everything about it. That's, I've said the same thing. Um, you know that wallet now now we all know the three of us know that pillar was one of those one of those few that cliff high said his data show is going to parody with the price of ethereum oh my god now, bro now out of all of them <laughs> i would say that one is the hardest to believe when you look at where we're at now um etc but when you factor in a couple different things when you factor in the fact that pillar is making that wallet that is basically ease of use is going to be phenomenal so all these people who you know are getting into the crypto space and really don't know what to do how to how to how to send funds uh let alone get into an ico or anything like that that wallet is going to make um people it, it's going to be a huge help to people to, to people who aren't as tech savvy um that's one another thing is and i and i've said this before yeah it seems kind of impossible now but the prices that we've hit already seemed impossible less than a year ago. You're not lying. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, hey, it could happen. I mean, and look at where we're at. What what price did you go back all in on Pillar at Silvertooth? Um, I went back in at forty eight cents. Uh, wow. when I went back in, but that was I, two days I, ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I also <laughs> had more before that. Okay, right, right. I had uh. I had like 46,000 before I went all in before mm -hmm. that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I got about that amount and, uh, you know, I, I kept meaning to, to load in on a little more. Um, and now it's, you know, and, and I, I may still, but that is one of the ones that I, I consolidated early on. I consolidated a lot of uh, other things to get more pillar. Um, it was after, uh, Cliff had said that was one of the ones and that was obviously that was the cheapest one at the time I said hey if Cliff's dad is right you know you do the math 50,000 of these is <laughs> if that goes to even even a quarter of the price of Ethereum which at the time was what about $400 somewhere in that area so you know even if you want to go a conservative number and say say it goes to $100 I mean you do the math $100 times 50,000 that's uh you know so i said you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna try to load in on as much pillar as i can because cliff's data on cryptos has been pretty damn spot on for the most part so um you know unfortunately i sold more than half of my populace at five dollars to get into it yeah but you know it, that's how the game goes um you know i don't know i think i think that pillar with what they want to do big picture, like down the road, their roadmap and the stuff that they want to integrate into that wallet, uh, it's going to be so much more than just a crypto wallet that allow you to allow you to buy into ICOs. You know what I mean? So I, if they deliver on what they're intending to do, um, I, I think pillar can be massive. So, so what made you uh, go all in, Silvertooth? Uh, that was a gutsy move, and uh, this is your second all in, and, and you've been doing well, very well. 
with these well, moves, man. All right. Well, the first all in was EOS, right. and uh, I lay it out there. I tell everyone what I do. Mm -hmm. um, I put eleven thousand in EOS. I turned around, and a week later, I had twenty seven. Nice. And and uh, then the market dropped, and it went down to twenty four. And then I went all in on Pillar, and I'm up to fifty now. So I'm doing real well. I'm doing real good, well. Good man. Good. So what um, made what made you do it though? Was it just like it? I asked gut? my wife. I asked my wife, I said, do you think we should do it? I said, this is a company I believe in. And and she said, uh, you know, do it. Uh, I trust your gut. And my gut said yes. Um, going with that, um, Cliff Cliff High a while back said that Pillar in March or March, April or May in that time frame was going to come up with a technology um, that the world had never seen to transfer through, like almost like an atomic swap. Um, and that wow. technology wow. would be needed for the future, and that would uh, cause a dramatic rise. So I know that this is coming. So Ooh, that's nice. that that ate, ate in my brain, and that that caused me to go all in. Of course, definitely. Oh yeah, that's that's you know I that's forgot exciting. about that. Actually. I yeah, I did too. You know, and I remember when when he said that, and you know, I mean, there's been so many exciting things that Cliff High has come out and said, or have been in his reports that like I forgot all of them, but man, yeah, that. I thought now. I thought, is it just their wallet itself is supposed to release what February? Am I am I correct mm -hmm. on that? No, it's it's actually um, supposed to release the end of March. Okay. 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 I thought. I What's thought going on in February? Something's going on. I know in about uh, January tenth, they're they're doing it like a, a PR press release type thing, right? Uh, in January tenth, they're having a, a meeting, and at the end of the meeting, it's like a year release meeting. They're going to show a, a display of the wallet on there, and you're going to get to okay. see a preview of the wallet. But nice, um, they're actually hacking it and trying to break it right now. So you got to awesome. kind of wait for them to. They're a slow company. They're not worried about um, time. They're worried about doing it properly. Quality, right? Yes. Yep. Hey, I like that. Yeah, wallets. I mean, or any, especially wallets. But you know, you have to do a hackathon mm -hmm. with, you know, especially wallets. Um, I've seen a lot of companies do that just to make sure that it's secure um, so they can take all the time they need. You know, it. we want this to be as secure as possible because this wallet is supposed to be the game changer. So, you know, we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens, but I'm excited for it to come out for sure. Bro, if if Pillar goes to even 300 bucks, <laughs> like I, I'm I'm good. I'm like. I'm going to yep. sell off on the ocean somewhere or whatever. Right? Yep. So I'm going to buy a fleet of Bugattis. I, there you go. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm excited if, if that happens. And so far, I mean, we're looking good, guys. I mean, 70 cents. I, I mean, I got in at 9 cents. So mm -hmm. just shy of 10x right now yep. with that. Um, wow. Wow. I, and I believe, and in Silvertube, you can kind of chime in on this. I believe once they show the preview of the wallet on the tenth, I think we're going to get another possibly like flip. Oh yeah, yeah. I, ho I hope so. Mm -hmm. um, I th I think it's going to go over a dollar, but um, I can't be guaranteed. You know. So where do you, know. where are your plans? Are you going to just hodl, or you are you planning on like uh, you have an exit point? No, no exit point at all. I'm okay. just, I'm just holding. I'm just holding from now on. That's okay. that's the plan. Okay. Yeah, I, I adopted uh, Crypto Blood's uh, strategy on Pillar, which is, well, and this all too, too depends on how fast we get to this point because I may have to adjust the prices. But I think I am going to exit half of my position at around ten bucks each. Yeah. And then hodl the other fifty percent. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, you know, if we start really shooting up in price fast, I might up that ten dollars. <laughs> right. Um, but you yeah, know, we'll at, at ten dollars, I'm taking something off the table. <laughs> if it's a quarter, you know, mm -hmm. I'm I'm just gonna take something so I can reallocate because at ten dollars, man, that would be a, a big portion of my portfolio. So um I would wanna just kind of reallocate a little bit of those funds into other stuff. To kind right. of balance stuff back out, but 
Yeah, that's that's exciting, man. I'm glad for you, Silver Tooth, man. Mm-hmm. You got another gut trade. Hey, man, keep them coming. Yeah, keep them coming. Yep. So uh, <laughs> next is Ripple, Ugh. the banker's coin. Ripple makes me so friggin' mad. I hate Ripple. <laughs> I hate Ripple. Ripple. I get so many people asking me, like on the streets and stuff, that mm-hmm. clients, um, family, family members. I had a um, my cousin's boyfriend. They moved to Denver, but they were here over the the holidays, and he was asking me, "How can I get Ripple? You know anything about Ripple?" I'm like, "Man, like this is who is spreading this this news about Ripple." MSNBC. Is it? <laughs> Probably. Probably. <I> <laughs> Probably. MSNBC. Or CNBC, I should say. I'm sorry. And both of them. Hell. Yeah. Rachel Maddow is probably uh, yeah. Yeah, spreading, <laughs> spreading Ripple. So what are your thoughts, man? What are your thoughts, TB, about Ripple, um, its longevity in the game, and all that good stuff? Well... If we see any sort of uh, banking crisis, I think Ripple is probably toast. Um, but I don't. I hate Ripple. I really do. Uh, I now I won't hodl Ripple. Ripple. I've never bought it once, not even to trade. Um, now I kind of wish I had. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> just just for a shorter term trade. Mm-hmm. Um, because obviously, you know, I mean, it was at 20 cents and I'm like, ah, it's not going to go much higher than that. And, uh, you know, and that's when it, when it went up to like 30 something and then dropped back down and, uh, you know, obviously look where we're at now and it's dropped down from where, where it was, it's dropped down uh, to where it is now. It's a little bit lower. So, you know, it came out that Coinbase said they're not adding ripple. Like right. the um, so you know, are they just saying that? So it looks like they don't have leaks. Who knows? Uh, but they said their plans are not to add Ripple. So we'll see. But, uh, you know, it's funny. I made a joke in the web out room that for every Ripple coin you hold, you get seven days of bad luck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I friggin' hate Ripple, dude. I really do. It goes against everything uh, that blockchain and cryptocurrencies are supposed to stand for yeah it really yeah. does it's totally centralized it's owned and run by the bankers and um you know why 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 <laughs> yeah man i mean you know um i don't know if you i can't remember if you told me nick or if i i heard this somewhere but uh the founder of ripple is now the wealthiest person i believe on paper or he was hmm. when it was at 30 it was when it was at three dollars and some change i um, wasn't me no okay yeah i heard that he at that point was uh was richer than um uh what's his name my man from facebook zuckerberg and oh yeah and all and, then, and, uh, and um jeff bezos I, jeff bezos yeah he was he was on paper well, because you know he he owns or holds sixty percent of the tokens or the coins. Yeah, that's ridiculous. So, ridiculous. and I don't know if you guys knew this either. Ripple's protocol, you can actually actually reverse payments. Wow. On their really yes, yes. Hmm. So it like you said, it's it's the antithesis of what we are in cryptocurrency you know decentralized currencies and all that good stuff man i i just wish more people would realize that and not just buy to make money it's so many mm-hmm. other coins like pillar like eos there's so mm-hmm. many coins we can make lots of money on and support good projects and, and not line the pockets and push the the agenda of you know the nwo yeah i i haven't you know i've got people that i help you know, make purchases and, um, you know, I've had people say, hey, can you help me get some Ripple? And I'm like, nope, mm-hmm. <laughs> I won't do it. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. I, it's like a, a, a morality thing. You yeah, know I mean? it, it kind of is, man. And I'm not even like a Bitcoin purist either. Mm-hmm. I'm not one of those extreme people, but like I got to draw a line somewhere, man. Like mm-hmm. I, I, I can't support it. Where, do, where mm-hmm. are your thoughts, uh, Silvertooth? 
Oh, I've done many of videos how much I hate Ripple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's um, it's not helping us. It's hurting us. It's bringing us back in time yep. uh, to a time before, and uh, we don't need it. And I think in the end, uh, people are going to be left uh, holding the bag, and maybe this is one of those lessons that uh, people need to learn because uh, I think that uh, when people get into this more in the crypto space and they learn about it, they're going to want to support uh, better companies. I hear a lot of people say it's all about money and I want money gain, but um, I, I don't think that there's going to be money in this uh, in the long run. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah, you bring up a good point about it all being about the money and, and the greed that people uh, are exhibiting in this in this uh, space it, it really has we do have to balance things out right um i know you're you practice buddhism right uh silver tube so that's that's a yep. big core um <laughs> in, in your philosophy and, and i agree man I, i'm totally with you and i i see a lot of imbalance in the community um just because of so much money that we are, we're able to make and have made in the in the last six or seven months so we, we definitely need to rebalance and, and come back down to earth a little bit with our I think that's why they're drawn to it. It, it yeah. shows a reflection of their inner core. C correct. Mm. Correct. It would be a shame if Coinbase added it. Let's put it that way. Yes, it would be. You know, I it was... would it would show it would it, I don't know. It would start to make me rethink, you know, Coinbase a little bit and you know, where they're at. I mean, obviously it's the biggest exchange out there you know what i mean that's where people go when they get into crypto but please don't add ripple guys if you're listening yeah i i was um pretty actually pretty glad to hear that the ceo came out and said that they didn't have any plans um mm -hmm. to add it but i can see how it would be beneficial to the uh coinbase organization to add ripple I just don't feel like it's a good move from um, just a, a, a community standpoint. And right. We'll see how long they can hold off, man. You know, these bankers, they have unlimited money. So they do. You know, they sure do. So um, last topic, guys, is our thoughts on the new tax laws uh. and, and truth blitz, man. You had a. Man, you had a rant the other day. I was in the car listening to your video. I was cracking up, man. You were throwing the fingers up. You yeah. <laughs> I feel about the tax bill as I feel about Ripple. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Right. The tax bill overall is not a bad bill. Right. Um, mm -hmm. It is. No, it, it really does what help I've me. I've seen, yeah, from what I've from seen on, on the tax bill overall, it is good for the middle class it's good for the working class people mm -hmm. uh it does you know so this is supposed to have us pay less taxes but then they they throw this this little section in there and uh kind of close the like kind loophole and now we need to report and pay taxes on every frigging crypto trade we make so um you know, like Silvertooth had made a video and came out with a good point that, for example, you, you want to go buy Veritasium. You can't just go buy Veritasium with U.S. dollars. You have to Correct. buy Ethereum. Correct. Or or if you want to buy Digibyte, you have to go buy Bitcoin. So, you know, there is now no way around that. Um, there's no... I guess you could say loophole that I can see anyway. Um, and is it going to be worth like making a buy? Like, cause you know, what's, what's the tax going to come out to, you know what I mean? So oh, it's going to be it's insane. Whole, You're getting taxed at uh capital gains tax on each transaction now. Correct. Mm, I, I believe so. So what does that mean? You have to hold, if you want to buy, for example, I want to go buy Digibyte. Does that mean I have to hold Bitcoin for over a year to get the lower tax rate because I want to go buy Digibyte? Yes. That's insane. So I feel like this is to deter people from getting into cryptos. Now, it's funny because, you know, I, I talked about this the other day and I, I just happened to be listening to one of Bix Weeder's new videos. And he talks about how <laughs> Trump is doing something with the market. He's manipulating something because... 
he he wants to allow you know the crypto market to grow to help the people i'm like where is he getting this <laughs> you know what i mean and that's nothing against big swear i like big swear he's, he's for you. a nice guy he's yeah genuine. he's nice no he is you know what i mean yeah he and is. um you know i still do watch him mm-hmm. but i don't know where he got that from where's the evidence <laughs> of that because i don't see any evidence of that in this tax bill because if that was the case he wouldn't have signed taken out and you know so, we we talked about this nick like um Trump may have not known uh, even that that part of the tax bill was was uh, added into the the whole. That's a good possibility. Yeah, it's a it's a very good possibility that that's the case. He he doesn't read everything. It's just no. It's humanly impossible for him to read through everything and, and catch everything. So that's and, and we talked about this. This is where the deep state comes into play. You know, mm-hmm. the deep state will will is they're pervasive. They're within all corners of our government, our corporations. So it's no way that one person I'm just giving Trump the benefit of the doubt. It's no way that he can can keep tabs on, on every little move that the deep state attempts. None of them read all these bills. These bills no. are thousands of pages large. Yeah. For a reason. Mm-hmm. All right. Because, you know, OK, yeah, I, I get you got to go into into details, you know, different sections of the bill. But I mean, we're talking thousands of pages and, and that is what deters a lot of people from trying to read what's in it. You know, I remember which bill was it? Uh, I don't remember what bill it was. But they wanted to know what was in it. Oh, if you want to know what's in it, you got to pass it. Oh, Nancy Pelosi. Nancy yeah, Pelosi, exactly. That yeah, was what bill, I don't remember what bill it was. <laughs> that was the Affordable Health Care, right? It was, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, yeah I, I, thought. I don't remember. <laughs> I, you know, yeah, Pelosi. So, though, like we should have been in. I was in the uproar when I heard that when she yeah. said. You have to pass the bill in order to see. But we just as people, man, as sheeple, if you want to call us, we just go along with it. And, you know, laissez-faire is all good. And we, we've got a real, I don't know, man. Like, what do you guys think is the tipping point for U.S. citizens to, to wake up? Mm. What is it going to take? I don't know. I mean, well, right now, Right now, with the amount of people that are in cryptocurrency that some people aren't even aware of this of this bill. So um, I think this might help a lot of people wake up. I mean, I I don't know if if we start seeing a large portion of the population get into cryptos and then they realize that everything they make is getting stolen from them. Not only that, they might end up negative. You know what I mean? Having to owe taxes. Um, yeah, because if you remember, uh, it talks about if you, let's say you you bought some crypto and then uh, the next year you held them, right? And then they go into the next year and you lose like, let's say, 50% or more, you may owe more taxes than you have in actual crypto mm. because of, of the drop. You get what I'm saying? The dropping your yeah. assets, but from what you owe the previous year, can will will just eclipse that. So, I I personally don't think they even have the resources. I'm meaning the uh, IRS having the resources to go after people. I don't think this, this is well thought out at no, all. No, no, at all. Um, and if that's the case, people are going to be in an uproar, especially when we start seeing a larger, like I said, a larger portion of the population moving into cryptos and they start seeing this and start getting hit, hit with tax bills like this. Um, people will be in a friggin' uproar. I know I will be. Yeah. So, what, what do you think, Silver too? Like these uh, tax bills? Well, well, I think that uh, if Trump didn't know about it, um, first of all, he's the man. I've read a lot of Trump books. Um, mm-hmm. I read him and Robert Kiyosaki book. We want you to be rich. Yeah. And uh, he's a master of contracts. He should have read it. And mm-hmm. uh, if he didn't read it and sometimes they'll do bills like uh, uh, help the children and then they'll slip a little something in there. Right. <laughs> right. And uh, if right. you don't pass it, they'll say, well, you don't like children. You know yeah. what I mean? They'll, yeah. They'll, they'll put that in there. But um, he has the power to repeal this, period. You know what I mean? He can come in and say, well, we're taking that out and it's no longer needed. 
So um, it's all on his shoulders to say, no, this is uh, kind of BS and we can do away with it. We have the power to do that. I can do what I want. I'm the I'm the president. Mm -hmm. So that's all on him. So if he's a, a quote unquote, a good guy or a bad guy, uh, show proof, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. And now, you know, enough. I, this is why enough tension needs to be brought to this. And this is why I sent out a tweet to him. And I wish I had it on on a. Uh, uh, on my thing, I could I could pull it up right now. But I basically said, you know, your tax bill was supposed to. I voted for you because you were supposed to be for the average American, the middle class, um, and the cryptocurrency portion of your tax bill really screws us. You know, it mm -hmm. screws me. I got into cryptos to help my family get ahead, and uh, you're screwing us. And mm -hmm. it got retweeted a whole bunch. I caught a whole bunch of flack from a bunch of Hillary supporters that started talking. <laughs> but regardless, um, you know, so I think we need to bring attention to this and show him how pissed off we are. And that's why, you know, right now with the amount of pop, you know, it's going to take a lot of people because if we're only at a roughly 1% of the population now, um, it's going to take a lot of people to raise a stink about this until we get more people in. Um, but we need to bring attention to this. I don't know. These all, all these small things that I've always said in the past, they're not going to work. Well, I'm willing to try it. You know what I mean? Start a petition. Um, you know, whatever. Send tweets out. I don't know. Um, but something's got to be done. And I hate to say it, and I really don't want to say too much on record, but you know, I'm not going to say what I'm going to say. Never mind. I'm not saying that. <laughs> no, not Smart man. <laughs> I'm not doing Smart it. Smart man. So, nope. yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I, I feel like um, it, it, they, they're really just painting themselves in the corner. And actually, if you guys recall, Cliff High actually said that they would fail at these tax uh, initiatives. I don't know if you guys remember that that their their initiatives to to really start to tax cryptocurrencies would end in a failure i don't remember that but that's that's kind of uh refreshing and good to hear mm -hmm. um you know this, it's insane it, it really is um <laughs> i don't know if they were smart they would not fight this you know what i mean they, they wouldn't fight it because that's what they're doing they're fighting it and they're trying to deter people from doing this. Because let's be honest, the elitists don't want other people getting rich. No, not they at don't. all. So I wish we would take more of a stance on cryptocurrencies that Russia did. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Russia actually took a very, for the most part, a pro cryptocurrency market stance. Um with with their recent bill and it wasn't a tax bill but it had to do with um you know icos it was particularly that's what it was more about but it was very it wasn't like a a law basically forbidding icos like other countries have attempted um you know and, and it seems like i don't know russia does a lot of things that you know, people are gonna be like, "Oh, you're a you're a you're a Russian agent," like like we heard so much in the, uh, <laughs> during the election. But Russia yeah. does a lot of things that I wish our country would would actually do that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, but I don't remember the exact bill. It was something having to do with ICOs and um, basically limiting how much an ICO could make um, and how much a a non verified investor, I should say, okay. could put into an ICO. But it was it was fair. It was a mm -hmm. fair number and it was to protect the people, but it wasn't anti crypto. It, this this seems to me this tax bill seems very anti crypto. Like, hey, we're not going to say crypto is illegal, but we're going to do this to make you not want to get into it because we don't like them. And yeah. that's what this is. And here's my prediction on what's going to happen is they're going to they're, they're, they're not going to uh, garner much success from this new bill um and i think they will ultimately have to resort to um somewhat of like a vat tax where you just basically they're they're taxing at the point of purchase 
for for individuals. So any any company basically, if you accept Bitcoin, I think they'll set it up like this. You, you if you're a business that accepts cryptocurrencies, you have to have a certain certificate or whatever, um, special tax ID or whatever, and they'll just tax you at, at point of purchase. If, if possible, I don't even know if that's going to be possible because I can make a wallet up that is that never touches any, you know, official exchanges or anything and, and accept Bitcoin. So I, I, I'm just clueless to how they are going to pull this off, man. I, I don't know. Yeah, I I am, too. I mean, you know, are they going to ask for everybody's wallet addresses so they can have a forensic specialists go and investigate you know the blockchain and see which purchases were made and when they don't have the resources for that are they no i can make up i can make up a a a new wallet every minute right and and i know and we talked about this before going to a privacy coin and there's they're not going to be able to do a, a damn thing nope you know so um but uh, i don't know i don't i guess it remains to be seen what's going to happen but i really hope that this portion of the bill gets changed i really do because um you know it's like they don't want this pretty much shows that you don't want the average american in the middle class to get ahead correct that's what it's that's what it says to me anyway yeah so yeah i agree well we'll see people we will see make sure you guys definitely comment in the section below uh, regarding all the topics that we covered today and uh lastly i heard silvertooth you were uh you, you actually got a gift from cliff mm-hmm. yeah. yes, I did. Cl- yes cliff, I did. cliff reached out to me and was like hey uh on the low send me silvertooth's uh address i'm like no problem <laughs> If anyone deserves one, it's definitely silver too. So tell us about uh tell us about that, man. Well, I got a he sent me a huge bottle, sixteen ounces of uh purple power uh C sixty. And uh I broke into it this morning. Nice. And and uh me and the wife did it this morning. I did my regular C sixty, my mm-hmm. minerals, and then I did a half a shot glass of uh purple power and then I uh, waited a half hour and did another half a shot glass. And so did the wife. So we're we're in the load up phase of this, and I love it. It has no taste to it. It has no wow. taste to it. It's wow. awesome. Okay. Uh, it, it's so, purple so, too. Believe so it or not. What is your? Uh, I know um, Nick, you're taking uh, C60 as well, right? Mm-hmm. What I do am. You guys, are you are you seeing Silver Tooth? Any any benefits yet from from taking it? And how long have you been taking C60? Um, probably eight, nine, ten days, something like that. Okay. I feel jacked. I feel jacked. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I feel I'm constantly doing the, the muscle poses. Yeah. And- <laughs> like Jeff Burrick with no shirt on and stuff. <laughs> Nick, you, when I asked you about it, you had just started. So how, what, yeah. what about now? It was about a month or so ago, I believe. Well, I had just started again because what happened was i started taking it and i didn't load in so i i think i i probably should start again and do that uh, i didn't load in like i should have uh i just started taking it a spoon a day mm-hmm. and um and then maybe about five days in i kind of slacked and forgot so i really screwed it up i gotta get some more and mm-hmm. really probably take a nice load in dose first and then go with the spoon a day gotcha. after that so but I do feel like I have a little more energy, though. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Cool, cool. All right. So I guess that's pretty much it for this second episode of The Block Party. I want to thank our guest, Silvertooth, for coming on. My main (laughs) man, Silvertooth. And, of course, Truth Blitz, my man, Nick. And I, Crypto Blood, you guys have a blessed day. And we will talk to you next time. Peace. Peace.